I drew this and this and this and all of these. Now look what AI can do. This is the Lead 2 by OpenAI. The Lead 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images from descriptions in a natural language. In this video, we will cover what the Lead can and can do, the impact on marketing and artists around the world. And if this already blew your mind and scared you at this point, watch till the end. I will introduce another AI that is 10 times larger than GPT-3 on which the Lee 2 is built. Let's cover ground. OpenAI is a research and development company and GPT-3 is an artificial intelligence developed by OpenAI. To this day, 300 projects have been built using GPT-3, of which the Lee 2 is one of them. In January 2021, OpenAI introduced the Lee. Just one year later, in January 2022, the newest version of the Lee 2 generates more realistic and accurate images with four times greater resolution. I come from the arts background, and one sentiment that many creatives resonate with this belief that AI will influence creatives the least. I think you can agree that Delhi 2 just changed that. Just look what the Lead 2 can do. The Lead 2 can create original, realistic images and art from text description. It can combine concepts, attributes, and style. It can also create realistic edits on already existing images from the natural language captions. It can add and remove attributes while taking shadows, textures, and reflections into account. It can also take an image and create variations inspired by the original. But the system has limitations too. By design, OpenAI limited Delhi 2 to create harmful, violent, or adult images. There are also no photorealistic generations of actual faces, including those of public figures. And it sometimes makes mistakes and it's not generating text very well, which is actually funny and an excellent source for memes. On a serious note, limitations are more complex than this. In a current state, it has bias issues, misrepresentation, and tends to represent white people and in general Western concept. In some cases, it overrepresents females, such as flight attendant, while in others, it overrepresents men, such as builder. I find it fascinating how AI that learns from the internet or what people are producing reveal our own biases that we are fighting right now. I'm not going to go into all the technical details how the lead to work, but I'm going to leave you with this. OpenAI released on April 23rd, 2022, a research paper on how the lead to actually work. In short, it uses two technologies, clip and diffusion. But What's the most impressive is that Delhi 2 actually knows what is aesthetically pleasing to a human. And this is a game changer. And this brings me to how this technology will leave marketing agencies, creative concept designers, and artists all jobless. But that's also not all. Inside GitHub documentation, Delhi 2 themselves state, though Delhi 2 is for exclusively non-commercial purposes today, it might eventually have significant economic implications. The model may increase the efficiency of performing some tasks like photo editing or production of stock photography, which could display jobs of designers, photographers, models, editors, and artists. The end. But besides this, I want to address not so obvious, how marketing and advertising will change forever. Today, companies hire agencies and creative people to design ads that can be run online or offline. In more advanced digital marketing, visuals can actually be also dynamic and personalized. The Lead 2 won't be available to a public for a while till all their concerns will be addressed. But be sure that companies that are already using GPT-3 technology will get their hands on it for learning purposes. Today, you have to upload externally design file into ad platform. In the future, advertisers will create ads inside platforms like Facebook, and AI will create exact ads for the target audience that 
will be also irresistible to click. While sales and ad dollars increase, how do you as a user feel about it? Think YouTube, for example. Thumbnail makes or breaks the video. If people are not intrigued by this image, they won't click. Good thumbnails take hours or days to conceptualize and design. But if YouTube has an option for a thumbnail to be designed on a text input or your video, also based on the audience you would like to reach. That's incredible. And that's not all. The future of the lead 2 is not just images, it's animation and eventually video. And what's scary, it's actually not the future, it's now. Look at this digital model created for a company. How many models will also lose their jobs? I can go on and on about all the ideas and scenarios how this technology will influence everybody going forward. Just consider before cameras and Photoshop, wealthy people hired painters to make a portrait of them. And at that time, they were many painters as demand was huge. How often today you hire a painter to make a portrait of you so you have actually an image of yourself? Let me just tell you, creative people are like this shadow society among us. Everything around you is designed by a designer, architect, or an artist. But you never really think how the world around you would look like if creative people did not exist. This technology is not about enabling creativity in people. And NFTs were not about creating opportunities for digital artists. In both cases, investors and corporations win at the end and everyday people become more and more complacent. I am split about this. As a creative person, I know it's the end. As a marketing expert, I am excited about possibilities in the future. As just Goda and a mother, I am scared I won't be able to tell what's real and what's not, or what real even means. For example, China's most powerful AI challenges people to distinguish between poetry that is ancient Chinese or AI today. Want to guess how many get it right? So if you got excited or scared about the lead 2, let me introduce you to Wu Dao 2, China's gigantic multimodal AI announced on May 31st, 2022. That is 10 times the size of GPT-3. Just compare. GPT-3 has 170 billion parameters. Wu Dao has 1.75 trillion parameters. However, direct comparison between Wu Dao and GPT-3 based on parameter count doesn't really correlate to the quality of AI. Even though it seems China and US is in a race for the biggest AI. When it comes to quality, just compare DALI 2 to China's CogView, which is built on Wu Dao. Okay, before you drop your pen and completely abandon creative fields, let's brainstorm. Where could your creative energy flow? First, Creativity and problem solving go hand in hand. And as you saw, Dali 2 has a lot of issues still to be solved. You can get on the waiting list for Dali 2, get involved and help the team with your feedback. I signed up and I can't wait to get my hands on Dali 2 and make a video for you on this channel. So like and subscribe, please. To enhance your creative skills with a bit of tech savvy, creative agencies will have AI departments. And if you can design and work with AI, jackpot. Three, address the boundaries of AI capabilities with your art. We have an artist in our family called Zero, and he's creating art with famous people in it. On top of that, AI can only create from already existing styles, and artists like Zero is paving the way for new art styles. Deli2 can't do that. Four, get involved in tech projects as consultant. In my previous video here, I explored how AI can build metaverse and how architects can actually be part of it. Make sure to check that one out. Bonnie was eating my paintings now. AI creates from the past. Creative people have a possibility to shape a future with a bit of help of AI. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to say bye. Bye!